Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year's Eve Eve. I have like six bags of a collective haul. I went to Dollar Tree today. I went to Ross. I went to Walmart. Uh, I went to TJ Maxx. I went for... I. I was looking for my 2024 diary slash journal and I know that Ross carries the brand or like the journal that I really really like it's excuse me it's really sturdy the pages are really thick but I haven't had any luck not really I haven't had a lot of luck finding like a print that I like or um just exactly what I'm looking for so I kind of had to settle today I'm gonna keep it and keep the receipt but with that I went to TJ Maxx looking for one I went to two Rosses looking for it I went to Walmart looking for it um I even tried the Dollar Tree like I was thinking maybe they had some sort of journal or diary that I could use but tomorrow I'm going no Sunday I'm going like an hour and a half away to my family's house for New Year's Eve and they have a Ross over there. So I'm gonna hit up Ross over there and see what I can find. See if I can find the same notebook. I'm gonna show you guys the notebook that I found in a different print. If I don't, I'm just gonna have to keep this one. So I was looking for this like crazy and I got all of this other stuff along the way. Uh, I love this um, this like hard what is that like a hard cover uh, journal and these papers are super thick this one came with a pen I'm not a hundred percent crazy about the print it is cute don't get me wrong it's super cute very girly and festive but I kind of wanted something a little bit more I don't know something something different this is $4.99 I have gone even on Amazon to find something like this but I didn't like the prints on there so what I can do if I really wanted to I can just cover this with stickers or you know just make it my own or just leave it like this and you know just work with what I got so I specifically went hunting for this brand. There was absolutely nothing in every Ross this morning. I just walked in, seen this one, and walked back out. It, it was the first time I ever walked into a Ross without looking around or anything. So this is what I went looking for, and I got all this other stuff along the way. So I'm going to share with you guys everything that I got. I have some after christmas sale items i have a bunch of valentine's day stuff as well from the dollar tree i just got a lot of stuff so i want you guys to set me up get your drink get a, a snack whatever it is set me up because this is going to be a huge haul to start off we'll start off with the rosses i went to do two different rosses i'm hoping to go to another one on sunday i went to two i bought some items on both but to start off, this this is gonna be my journal slash diary. Uh, I've I have one just like this, but it's a different print, and that thing is full. I want to burn it so bad. <laughs> I want to burn that thing. I don't even want to throw it away. I just want to burn it. Like I want to see it burnt. So I'm super excited to start the new year with a brand new little diary slash journal and then it did come with a pen which was really cute so let's jump in i have a ton of clothes and then i've been watching some girlies on youtube starting to get into the britney spears perfume i don't need any more perfume like my little lazy susan is full i end up buying the Nicki minaj one i end up buying the moschino one and now I am on the hunt for Britney Spears perfume. I've seen and heard such good reviews on these. They smell really good. I found this one, Fantasy Intense Britney Spears, and this was 19 dollars 
I have never owned any Britney Spears co not cologne, uh, perfume. I know this was very popular when I was in middle school, high school. So I want to start looking for the Britney Spears collection. What I think I'm going to do with my perfumes now is separate the body mist from the actual perfumes. So maybe put the body mist in my bathroom and then leave the perfumes out here when I get changed and ready. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking. So I'm super excited about this one. We can open it together. And now like Ross, maybe it's because it's also the end of the year, but the, my both of these Rosses that I went to, completely empty, like nothing, no perfumes. I'm pretty sure it's because of Christmas, but it was completely empty. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go look for the Britney Spears perfumes because they're always in stock. I've always seen the Britney Spears perfume. But now that I'm actually looking for them, there was none. I'm actually surprised I found this one. And I found, I believe I found this in like the garden section or just like in a different section in the store. So that's the box. This is the bottle. It's, I want to say like a full size bottle. This is really big. And let's smell it. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> oh my goodness, nostalgic. It reminds me of all the girls that I used to pass by in middle school or high school. Ooh, it smells a little like senora, but also like a hint of like girly pop. It smells really good. I like that. Uh, so I'm super excited to start collecting all the Britney Spears perfumes. This is my first one. I hope to haul more. So that's my first thing that I got. I'm going to show you guys uh, what's in this bag first, and then I'll show you guys the second bag. I have been looking for hairspray. I like trying the different hairsprays at, uh, like TJ Maxx or uh, Ross Carey. So I wanted to try this one. This one was $5.99. This is the L'Oreal Paris Locket Bold Control Hairspray. So I'm going to set that up in my bathroom. Um, the kids, my kids have been with their dad all week for Christmas break. I've ha I got them last week all week and then dad has them this week. So all week I have been deep cleaning every single room in my house, under my sink, under my my bathroom sink, I have donated a, like a huge load of stuff. I'm not even kidding guys, like a huge load of stuff. I'm just like, I don't need this, I don't need this. Before I would always think about it and be like, oh, I'm gonna wear this or oh, this. I'm just like, fuck this, like get this out of my house. So I have gotten rid of a ton of stuff. Still, 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 I have. So they are just barely sprinkling a bunch of um, Valentine's things. I love Valentine's. I'm sure like everybody does. Valentine, Valentine is one of my favorites, obviously. Uh, and it's also my birthday, uh, my birthday month. So everything hearts, pink, cutesy stuff. Yes, please. So I found this. This is a, a sweetheart puff set. I use these for the powder that I use um, after like my foundation and concealer. And there's a bunch in here. There's nine, yep, nine of these. So I'm actually gonna share these with my daughter. And these are $4.99. And then I bought uh, both of my bathrooms and my home new shower heads. Um, I don't know how to install these. So I'm gonna Google it, or I mean YouTube it, and wish me luck. <laughs> I've been in my apartment for four years and I've had the same shower heads. Obviously I've cleaned them, all that. But I just wanted um, new ones. Uh, I'm replacing a bunch of stuff in my little apartment. So I got this one, I got two of these, $7.99. And then the last thing, oh no, the la uh, a few more things from that store. I found this damage, remedy plus coconut miracle oil hair mask and this was $4.99 I really wanted to try this I'm trying to take care of my scalp for the past six or seven months I have been trying to find really good 
uh, shampoo and conditioner uh, just because I feel like my scalp is really, really dry. I tried these new ones out. Oh, I didn't even bring them over. I just bought some um, from TJ Maxx or Ross. Uh, they're a little bit more of like a salon or like high-end kind of shampoo and conditioner. So I'm hoping if I invest that much money into shampoo and conditioner that it will actually help my scalp. But I wanted to try this out and hopefully it will kind of moisturize my scalp. I do use a lot of oils on my scalp. But if I don't use the oils, it, I just get super flaky and really dry scalp and I do not like that. And the last couple things from this location, uh, like I mentioned, I am going over to my aunt's house. She lives about an hour and a half, almost two hours away. Me and my sisters are going, so that's gonna be really fun. And for whatever reason, I'm like, I'm gonna get an outfit. I think, I believe we're gonna spend the night there and then the next day just hang out, chill out with you know everybody. I found these uh, sleepwear Juicy Couture uh, pants but i'm actually gonna wear them like sweatpants i guess you could say or like um uh, like not joggers yeah but like no like suede pants they're super comfortable it says juicy couture this is so cute i love this and it's super soft inside obviously because it's sleepwear but i was planning on wearing them like pants with my little platform um little boots that way we can just hang out um, at my aunt's house and then I found this shirt I have a ton of these like um, like nylon shirts like this but I really like this one because it's it feels cotton it's way more softer than the ones that I have and it has like a really really nice stretch and it has like the little scrunchies on the side and it's long sleeve super comfortable and this was $8.99. So that's really nice. I thought I could wear these for the Monday, like the actual New Year's Day. And just almost like a lounge outfit. So I have that. And then the other Ross bag. Let's see if I can take a picture. Whoa. This is actually from Target. Target, Target. This is Marshalls, Marshalls, okay. And then this is Ross. I showed you guys on my last haul that I found a really, really nice dress that I have in my Shein cart. I also seen this on Shein. Um, this is a really cute little like mini mini dress but it has the little rhinestones on the bottom and the fabric or like the dress has like a little bit of a shape to it i thought this was so cute very very affordable something that you definitely see on shein and this was 14.99 so i got that uh i do know how to sew so if it is a little bit wonky on me i can definitely go in and uh cinch it in if I need to or make it more like a body cone if I need to so this dress is really really cute I like that so I could either um save it for like a, a family party or save it for next year for summer I just thought it was really really cute and then see this is oh no this I actually thought that I got both of these at, um, I made like an outfit and I thought this would be a really, really cute outfit for like a girl's night or like my birthday uh, month for me to wear if I, you know, if I go for like a birthday dinner or something like that. I thought this was a really, really cute outfit. I found this ribbed, really nice stretchy long sleeve bodysuit. I love when the bodysuits body actually have like underwear, like coverage instead of a thong. The thongs are a little bit uncomfortable sometimes, so I really appreciated how this is like an actual underwear. So it's just like a long sleeve onesie with the zipper, super cute. I can definitely put the zipper down. And this was $8.99. And then to go with that, I actually found this first and then I found that. 
it's a leather maxi skirt these on Shein are super affordable and Amazon they're like triple the money from Shein and it's the same thing like it, either Shein is selling things from Amazon or Amazon is buying Shein things and then selling them anyways so I found this for $17.99 it is a black leather or folk leather maxi skirt this is so dope I love this so much I love this so much this is definitely something like super stylish really really cute I love this so much I cannot wait to wear this this was an extra large in the junior section so I thought this and this little shirt would be a really cute outfit with some sneakers. I thought that'd be a really, really cute outfit. So I'm gonna uh, save this little outfit for like my birthday month and I can wear it or I can wear it for like a, a girl's night. I have a my best friend, we've been best friends for lots and lots of years. I have a couple things planned for us. Uh, for us to have like a girls night and I now that I'm like single I love to dress up to do things like if we for example I set up a um, a girls night for us to make our own candles at like the studio that's super exciting so I could even wear that outfit to that and like not romanticize but just go a little bit extra you know um, we can do dinner or go to like that class and then go to dinner and then that's it like it doesn't have to be super crazy so I love that outfit sorry I blabbed I blabbed I found this really cute little ribbed uh, like tan uh, crop but it's a little longer than a crop it's really stretchy short sleeve I just thought it was really really cute and this was $6.99 I really like the fabric I love these stretchy shirts I love those I got that and then I think I might return these if they fit me really well uh, I'll keep them but I found these really cute uh, Adidas leggings oh, man I used to wear lots and lots and lots of leggings uh, so I know I kind of know my leggings this was $16.99 and I love how like actual like little these are because I have really small ankles so I love when my leggings like hug my ankle instead of it like being flared like a little loose um, so that's what I really liked about it it is in a 1x I found this in the plus section at Ross um, so I'm hoping that it fits me uh, really well uh, like I said it is leggings so I'm not a hundred percent sure but I do have some Yeezys so I was thinking that I can wear uh, my Adidas uh, leggings with my Yeezys and like a I have a black gap sweater so I was thinking about wearing like a my my gap sweater making it like a cute little outfit so I got those and then continue continuing the bra hunt I'm replacing replacing all my sports bras and my bras and I found these ones I believe I've had this brand before and it did fit me I love the coverage, nice coverage, and this was $7.99. I will try that on, and if it doesn't fit me, if I don't like it, I am gonna return it. Same thing with this. I thought this was super cute and girly. It has like a little tiny gem here in the middle. Nice support in the back. It has three clips. Uh, this was $8.99. I love the, like the little sheer right here. Super cute. So I hope that fits me. And then here is the other shower head that I bought for our house. And then I found these. I am a straw girly. I think I mentioned that as well on my other haul. I found these. These are super affordable. $249. They're stainless steel. Um, I have a bunch of plastic straws that I want to get rid of. And I just want to transform from plastic straws to... Um, like plastic reusable ones but I want to transition to like stainless steel so I thought those were really cute I'm going to replenish the sh plastic straws that I'm going to donate 
and I found this. This was really cute. This is Eye on Beauty Brow Envy Defining Kit. And this was on clearance for $3.99. I like the spoolie. I use, uh, I have a brush like this that I use to kind of clean my eyebrow when I'm done doing it. So I thought this was really cute and it's pink. Um, again, with the hair product, smooth air dry anti-frizz cream. I am always looking for anti-frizz, especially when I straighten my hair. I have super, super long hair. So I always try to keep like my hair that stands up up here uh, down or like my hair just frizzy. So I'm always looking for new products to try. This is $3.99. I haven't tried this yet. So I hope I have a chance to try that. And then my kitchen. Again, I'm replenishing little by little. I saw these that were on clearance or like reduced. Uh, for my kitchen the ones that I've had I believe since I like moved in or maybe like a couple years ago They're fucked like I need to replace them so bad. So I found this one. I don't really mind the gray uh, But my kitchen is all black I'm trying to transition everything from like colorful bright pink to um, black a little bit more modern I already have one of these, but I need another one. Uh, me and my kids eat a lot of uh, fruit and sometimes I just need to peel it. So, so we we constantly use this all the time. And this was on clearance for $2.99. And then the same thing for this. I have one from the Dollar Tree and it broke, but I still use it. I've been using it for about a year now. Uh, so I just thought I could replace it with like a sturdier one. This is awesome for like ground beef or chicken or um, yeah, just like ground grinding things up. And this was $3.99. So all those utensils that I have right now, I'm going to donate them and replenish it with that. And then last thing from Ross, I believe, oh no, a couple more things, sorry. I got this pink mat. I am currently working out from home. I haven't joined the gym yet. That's one of my New Year's res resolutions is to join the gym, even though I don't want to because I love working out at home. I really, really want to start running or using machines, I guess, to kind of uh, tone out uh, my arms and my back, that kind of thing. So I bought this pink um, mat. I have a gray one that is super beat up. Like I've been using it for a while now and it's super beat up. I need to replenish it. So um, I got a pink one and I thought that would also just motivate me a couple more things from Ross and then we'll jump over to a different store I need a new shoe rack the shoe rack that I've had in my closet I've had it for like three years um, a lot of the little um, like the rods are like bending so I really wanted to replenish that for the new year I need a carpet clean tomorrow um, carpet clean and then I'm going to no first I'm going to clean out my closet like my shoe area and then uh, donate whatever I don't want and then put these in there and then carpet clean so I got this one and then I got an extra one to add on I have a ton of shoes I have a ton of ton of shoes and then obviously I have like my high heels I don't have a lot but I wanted all of my shoe racks to match because I have a different um, different sizes in my closet. So I just want it all to be the same size. So let's jump in into Target really quick and I'll show you guys what I have bought from Target. I found this really, really cute, like one piece shorts. This is so cute. I cannot wait to wear this. If I was to go to the gym, this was definitely one of the outfits I wanted to wear super cute with like an oversized t-shirt if i wanted to or if i feel really confident i could just wear this this was on clearance at target for 20 dollars. they had a bunch of different colors they definitely had black i should have gotten black but i went with the blue just to get out of my comfort zone so i got that little workout um like onesie i guess that is super cute and i've been on the hunt for these I got these um, wild, wild Fable, I believe that's how you say it. These um, 
I've been loving the flare leggings. Oh, I they I love flare leggings. They're so comfortable. At the time, I only found this dark green one, which I don't mind, especially now with like the fall. And these are twenty dollars. To me, they're a little bit expensive, um, just because I have found some that I love for under ten dollars or fifteen dollars. And the quality is not so great. I, at least I don't think so. I like I said, I've gotten some that are so good, super comfortable, and they're less expensive. So I skipped on the black ones on these. Um, I also like the huge band up top. I love that. Uh, just because I do have two um, flare leggings in black. So I just didn't want to overdo it with the black. So I got these. I thought this would be really cute because I have, I think I hauled it on my last video, my Michoacan sweater. And that sweater is like a cream, uh, a cream color. And then I thought with the dark green and my little Uggs or, you know, like my platform boots, cute outfit. So I got those at Target. And then, oh my goodness, I seen this at my local store. They didn't have my size. And I was like, you know what? It's Christmas. I ordered it uh, from a different store. It got shipped to my house for free, which was really nice. This was a little bit pricey. This was $24. And it's not even a fucking whole sweater or like a shirt. It is like a little sweater cover uh thing i don't know when i saw it ugh, i was like yes they did have it in black but i skipped the black i wanted this super cute colorful one so i was thinking about wearing this a little sweater so it just literally just covers this i have a a white onesie and it has like little tiny like almost like a hair tie strap it's really little and then um, with my satin skirt and some really cute um, sneakers. I could even wear like my Air Force Ones, my white ones with uh, scrunchy white socks. So I thought that would be a really, really cute outfit. Ugh, I cannot wait to wear that. I love this sweater. This was super expensive. And it's not even like a full sweater, but I just thought it was like a statement. A statement piece I love this I cannot wait to wear that and now let's jump over to TJ Maxx this I went to TJ Maxx twice um, one uh, last week and then one time this week so last week this is what I found oh no wait this is Marshall sorry this is Marshall's uh, again I went to Marshall's looking for a journal or a diary and I just I was just looking around so I found this super cute little trendy shirt. I definitely thought about this for my birthday month. Again, I celebrate all month um, for like a night out or, you know, I'm starting to notice that with my sisters, we end up going out to like dinner and drinks. So if my sisters decide to like take me out for my birthday like that, or like I end up going out with my girlfriends, I thought this was a really, really cute little birthday uh, shirt. I love this. This is in an extra large. And I could definitely, um, I have this satin skirt that I got from Amazon that's really comfortable. Um, I have a mom belly, so it kind of covers that. And uh, I thought I could wear that uh, skirt with this super cute little uh, shirt. And then at the Marshalls as well. Did I say how much that was? I think it was like $14. Let's see. $16.99. This something on Shein would be like $7. But super shitty quality. Uh, and then I found these workout performance rib feature sculpting texture for your every move. This is like a workout brand from Marshalls. But it's a flare. 
uh, I don't know why I love these so much after I literally said I wouldn't get the one from Target but I found this one I thought this was super cute and it almost looks like dress pants I don't know if you guys can see that and this was $16.99 I am going to try these on and if they don't fit me I am going to return them um, but I just thought these were really really nice I love these hopefully they fit um and i keep them if not i will return them super cute and then this is the other day when i went to tj maxx looking again for the journal i found these little little luggage tags i thought these were really really cute i don't need them i really don't these are $7.99 but i thought i could put them on my backpacks or my little suitcase these are so cute i love those and then for some decoration um i found this little um balloon dog this was super popular i was thinking about putting it in my bathroom everything in my bathroom is pink this was 5.99 this is super cute i love that and then I found this Too Faced Too Femi, I want to say. That's how you pronounce it. This was $9.99 and it is a lipstick. I did try to get like the more neutral color. I like more of like neutral lip. And this one is called Burning Up. I wanted to get a new lipstick. Oh my god. Look how cute this is. It's a little heart. Oh my god, how cute. It looks like a freaking buckshot. This is so cute. Oh my god. That is so cute. So I hope that lip that lip color looks good on me. I think I'm gonna wear it for this weekend when I go over um to the party for New Year's. I got that. And then all of their Christmas items were 50% off. I, like I mentioned, I donated majority of my Christmas items. Uh, I felt really, really good getting rid, or not getting rid of, but just donating the stuff that I've had for years. Things that I've collected over the years, vintage Christmas items, all that. I just was like, I, I need to let go. So I found these. I actually seen a reel with a girl using these and i was like man those are really nice to put away ornaments and i end up finding those same ornament uh storage bins the same day that i saw that reel so these are just like home organizers are really sturdy uh i bought two for one because they were 50 percent off these were 12.99 so i got those for all the little ornaments i bought a bunch of new ones this weekend and then I did go through the pajama section. I thought this was super beautiful for my birthday month. It's these like silk juicy pajamas. They're like a hot pink. And that one was $14.99. I am going to wear this for my birthday month. Everything pink in my birthday month. I thought that was really nice. I'm going to put away all like my holiday Christmas uh, pajamas and replenish them with these ones. And then the last thing I got at that TJ Maxx, I never find anything juicy there. Uh, purses, juicy purses at TJ Maxx. But I found this one. Look how cute this one is. It is like a beige. And it has like super cute rhinestone iridescent. I thought this was super, super cute. Um, $24.99. I think something like this at Burlington would be $19.99. But Burlington is far from me. So I will take it. Super cute. Shit, I might even take it this weekend. Super cute. I love that. That's what I got at TJ Maxx. So let's jump in into Dollar Tree. Hopefully you guys are still here. Hopefully you guys get a little bit of a sip of your drink. I just have water in here. Let's continue. 
let's do Dollar Tree. Since I am organizing a lot of my uh, areas in my house, I needed some bins. I wanted to check Dollar Tree before I went out to like Ross and stuff and bought some bins, but I found the bins that I was looking for. Uh, under my sink, I have extra sponges, so I wanted to get a little sponge holder. So I got this. I first looked around in my house to see if I could use anything, but I think since I am since I am decluttering so much, I threw away, or sorry, I don't mean to say throw away. I donated all of my bins like this, like little bins, big bins, oval bins, all those bins. I just donated everything. So. I just got that one for under my sink and then for again under my sink to hold my reusable bags I have a ton of reusable bags I was able to find the biggest bin that Dollar Tree has and to kind of match this to go under my sink so I got this whoa I have that huge bin we needed more tooth picks flossers I needed this one. This is what I keep on uh, around my sink to disinfect my sink when I'm done doing the dishes. And I found these super cute little bunnies. I'm not really decorating anymore my home. Like I've minimized so much that I don't really want to decorate. But um, I found these super cute little bunnies, a uh, dollar twenty-four that or a dollar twenty-five. These at Target or Walmart would be like over five dollars. So I bought the pink one for my room and i bought the green one for my living room my living room is forest green black and gold so i thought this would kind of match a little bit more than any other color and then i wanted to try these out these freezer bags these are slider bags one is for the freezer and one is for storage i'm storaging um a couple of christmas items that are just very sentimental to me so i'm keeping that and then for my daughter, I have a 15 year old daughter. She was born on um, leap year and the year that's coming up, it's her actual birthday. Legally, she's turning four, but she is turning 16. What the hell? She is turning 16. So um, I told my kids next year for 2024, one of my goals uh, is to save as much money as I can. So with that being said, I told my kids, unfortunately, no birthday parties, uh, just something between us. So um, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna decorate. So I decided to make a balloon arch for all of my kids on their birthday and just decorate my house. Um, and that way we can have dinner. I can make them whatever dinner they want. Um, and that would be our celebration and I will get them like one or two gifts, but nothing too crazy compared to all the birthday parties that I've thrown for them. So I just told them we're going to be super low key next year. I already spoke with them and they said that was okay. So, um, I, I'm going to do a balloon arch and in the arch, I'm going to put the number 16. I got her little candles and my nephew he is actually turning 16. My daughter and him are, or my daughter and, yeah, my daughter and my nephew are about like a month and a half apart. So I know he's turning 16 in January. So I got him a card. I remember babysitting him when I was pregnant and he was a newborn. <sighs> what a nice memory. And I can't believe it's going to be 16 years already. So I got him a little card. I'm not 100% sure if his mom's going to do anything, but... I got a card and I got the M&M's for uh, the movie theaters. I was going to go see a movie and I got there too late. So I'm going to keep that for, I think I might go to the movies tomorrow. I want to go see the movie with um, Zac Efron, the one, the wrestling one. I really want to go see that. So I think I might do that tomorrow um, during the day. Even I could go do that. Uh, continuing with Dollar Tree, I got a bunch of valentine stuff so uh this year my relationship of 16 years uh we separated it's been about eight months and uh, the holidays have been very tough but i'm looking forward to the new year with that being said i decided to already plan ahead and um like celebrate 
uh, Valentine's because obviously it's going to be super different. Uh, val uh, celebrate Valentine's with my children. Um, you know, focus that like sadness and all that energy into my children. So I'm planning a Valentine's Day dinner with my kids. I'm going to do steak and I'm going to do mashed potatoes and veggies for dinner. And then um, uh, for Valentine's Day anyways, I used to do that. Like we used to make a dinner and appetizers and dessert and all that. So I'm going to do the same thing, but just give all that energy to my kids. So I decided to have a Valentine's Day uh, dinner with my kids. Um, so kind of went a little crazy. I got two of these pink trays. I can definitely use these for my birthday, Natalie's birthday and my birthday. Again, just between us. Um, my birthday, Natalie's birthday and Valentine's. So a one dessert and a one appetizer. I was thinking about doing a veggie tray for Valentine's Day. I got a cute table cover. I always decorate for dinner as well for Valentine's Day. I got these super cute little napkins to go with. I got these plates to go with our dinner. And I got these. I also like put balloons up and stuff. So I got these super cute little foil curtains. I can definitely keep this up for my birthday, Valentine's Day and Natalie's birthday because it's all in February. And then I found these super cute little candy containers, but I'm actually going to save these for Christmas. I'm going to use these as ornaments. They're pink and super cute. You guys are going to see my ornaments that I bought for Christmas. And I'm not going to do candy. I Well, I am going to do candy, but not as much as I did before. Years prior, I used to make my kids candy bouquets. Um, and I just don't want to do that anymore. So I am getting them a little bit, not a bunch. But I think this is all I'm doing is the... Um, I found these, these Warhead Sour Popping Candy and then Cotton Candy. So I'm thinking about setting up the dinner table and then um, putting one of these and one of these on their plate and like tying it with a ribbon or something. So I thought, you know, that would be enough. I, I don't plan on getting any more. And then I have, oh, this is open. I have a, um, like a candy uh, jar that I've had. I haven't gotten rid of it, but I decided to keep it for decoration and kind of use it to, yeah, like use it for decoration. So I got all these conversation hearts. I got three bags of these and I'm just going to put it in the candy jar, but it's shaped like a bubblegum machine. So for every holiday, for Valentine's Day, for Easter, for maybe even St. Patty's, or for summer, I can just use the jar and just empty out the candy or replenish the candy with the holiday candy. So I got that. I, I don't eat that. I don't think my kids will eat it. So it'll just be for decoration purposes. I do want to get my kids a card. I got this one for my daughter. They didn't have a bunch of Valentine's Day stuff out. So um, I just got whatever I saw there today. And then I do have pink candle holders and I seen these on Instagram at the Dollar Tree or like the Dollar Tree hauls on there and I really wanted to get them. So I have two candlestick, two candlestick holders and I was going to put these on the dinner table to decorate a little more. And then I do have a pink mini tree that I've hauled and I wanted to decorate that as well. I got two pink little ornaments and the red ones. We only had one more. I wish I had another one. So I'm going to decorate the little Christmas tree, my little pink Christmas tree that I'm going to keep in my room. And then these, I love these. I actually got one of these a couple Christmases ago in my stocking and I just love them. So I got two of these, one for my car and one for my purse. And then I think I just found one. I'm replenishing my eyelashes. I love these eyelashes from Dollar Tree. I only found one. And then they had a bunch of new picture frames. I love the Dollar Tree picture frames. I've had some for years that I haven't gotten rid of. I found this new design. 
I got two. I love printing pictures and displaying them in my home. And then I found the these Revel, Revlon Ultra HD lip color. I found like the most neutral ones again uh, because of my skin tone. Uh, these just say high shine. Oh, this one is a high shine. And this one is a hyper matte. So I thought those were really nice. I got those for my makeup. And then last thing I got Dawn. Um, I wanted to use this because I've seen a reel on Instagram that if you add this to your clothes when you're washing, apparently it cleans up really good. So I wanted to try that. So that is everything from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to sneak in this uh, Walmart haul if you guys want to stick around and watch that. That would be nice. Just because I got some really, really good stuff. And you know what? I actually forgot all the other Dollar Tree or the Walmart items all the um gingerbread stuff walmart um i am making a uh christmas gift for my aunt my uncle and my cousin they all live in um the house together so i wanted to give them a host gift slash christmas gift for hosting us um these socks are a dollar 15 or a dollar 74 or something like that they're under two dollars these are so nice. They had a bunch. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be way cheaper in a couple of days. So I got these Aloe Infused Ultra Comfort Socks. So I actually got three of these. These are going to be for my sisters for Easter. I got three of these for my sisters. And then um, one for my aunt and one for my cousin to put in their little Christmas bags. And these were on sale these were part of like the Christmas clearance. I bought one for my aunt and I bought one for my cousin. And then this one is for my cousin, some little chocolates. And this one is for my aunt. Oh, it's squished. These Hershey nugget truffle. And then I found this on clearance. This was like $2. These um, AP scented hand cream set. So I think I might save three for my sisters for Easter and then give two or take two for my aunt and um, my cousin. I got two Sodi poppies. These are so good for me. Uh, like I said, I'm home alone. So I got two of those for my dinners. And then continuing with the Christmas stuff, I got my aunt one of these and my cousin one of these. I love the pink. I got this huge bag. I'm gonna separate these in between them two. And then I also got these, these are super cute. I think I'm actually gonna give these to my uncle cause for my uncle, I got him um, scratch off tickets cause although like my aunt and my cousin got girly stuff so i think i'm gonna make him uh, a little scratch like display and then add these on there i don't know where they went i thought i brought them with me i did buy these for snack right now oh i love prosciutto so good i think i forgot to take this out but i was gonna use this for my aunt's gift and then i found these on clearance too these are, oh, this is I found these little gingerbread baby napkins. They had a ton of these, but I got two again next year. These are literally my colors for next year uh, with pink. And then I got my cousin this. This was, I don't know, like 24 cents or something like that for my cousin. I should have got another one for my aunt now that I'm thinking about it. And I got them their goodie bags. These obviously were on clearance too. These were two eighty eight, so what, like a dollar twenty something. Uh, I think that is it. Oh, here's a oh, cause I went to my grocery store and I got my uncle some scratch off tickets. So I was thinking about giving him something like that, and then with this, maybe. Oh, look. Maybe I can make like a little bouquet like that. 
for my uncle. And then at my grocery store, they actually had all their Christmas items on sale as well. So I found these little gingerbread babies. These were $5.99 on clearance and they were light up. Let's see if you guys can see. So these are definitely gonna come out next year. I have to storage those. And then I found these on clearance. I'm gonna give these to my aunt too. These, this was $1.87. I got her a wine bottle. And then this little measured shot glass. This was 77 cents. So I was thinking about um, tying this together on the wine, uh, the wine bottle. And then this was on clearance for $2.99. I forgot to keep that in my car. I forgot to get pretzels. I was going to get the pretzels, use these, and then the M&Ms to make like the little treats. I forgot to get both of those. I saw Saturday or I saw tomorrow. And I believe these are going to be my colors for next year. Green, white, and pink for my wrapping. I love decorating my gifts. It's so much fun. To, my kids are older now, so they oh, uh, they have expressed, especially the past couple years. They love... I don't set any gifts out until the 25th because Santa. Uh, so when they wake up in the morning, they see their gifts, da 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 but they also have mentioned how much they like how I decorate their gifts. Um, years prior, they have had their own wrapping paper. Uh, this year, I didn't do that because I was just not trying to spend so much money on wrapping items because I already have so much. Um, so I just used two wrapping papers and I decorated them. I put ribbons, I put bows, I put decorative things and they have mentioned that they really, really enjoy that. So um, I, I love it. So I, I believe these are my colors for next year uh, to match with all the gingerbread stuff that I've bought. That completes my haul. My voice hurts. This was almost like an hour long. If you guys stayed here for this long, if you stayed here for this long, I, I would really like for you guys to put a pink heart in the comments if you guys stayed this long. Because, whew. I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys like my video. If you guys want to stay tuned to follow me for my 2024 adventures, subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of contact, con, con, contact, con, content planned for 2024. I hope you guys follow me. I hope you guys like my videos. If you, if, I hope you guys have a good New Year's. I hope you guys are making some goals, some resolutions, um, making your life as extravagant as you can. Um, I am learning slowly and surely that life is just way too short. Live your life as much as you can. You don't have to live your life and spend money. Like going to the park and walking around is is already something like a blessing, a refresher. Everything that you can think of, it could be a refresher. It could be just something nice. Even just that, you don't have to spend money to live a lavish life. So anyways, I hope you guys have a good New Year's. Happy New Year's. I hope everybody is safe. And thank you guys so much for watching.